Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Pokemon Coliseum. Last time we finished off Mount Battle, battled Dakim, got a time flute from Vanda, the area leader at Mount Battle, and also, you know, snagged a legendary Pokemon. It's fine, we got an Entei. And we also found out about the Cologne cases and fully purified Equilibrium. Oh, our uh, Hitmontop here, who now has that fancy ribbon, um, and also, you know, all of his moves now, which is great. Rapid spin, not so great. Good for clearing out uh, entry hazards. Triple kick, kind of good as long as all three of them hit. And especially when they're powered up by the black belt that we get through catching him. Focus energy, not too great. I mean, extra critical hits can be kind of nice, especially with uh, triple kick. Uh, and agility isn't that necessary because him on top is reasonably quick. I think it's got like base 70 speed, so it's pretty good. So there we go. We only have one more Shadow Pokemon left on our team, and that is Pseudo Widow. However, it's time for us to head on. Now, Dakim mentioned that he was going off to Ein's lab. Well, if we exit Agat Village here, we now see that there is a mystery lab, a sinister and menacing laboratory that was built in the desert without notice. So, what say we head there? We've nowhere else to really go. Let's head on over here and see what we can find. Oh my goodness. The controller is shaking like crazy. Okay, we, we just got an email. So, let's take a look. Mirror Peon nabbed. Dazza, this is duking. We just nabbed a pair of goons we think take orders from Mirror B. They may be worth squeezing for some intelligence. The police have them in jail, so come to Pyrite in a hurry. So it looks like Pyrite is our next port of call. Um, let's see what we can do in this lab, though. Uh, so the door, main gate is closed. There is a key slot. We do not have a key. So we can't actually get into the lab, but before you go... Uh, if you just sort of hug this electrical fence and go around the back here, if you go sort of too far away from the the fence, then it's, it, it takes you to the map selection. Uh, but there's an item box here, and we can grab ourselves three revives. They will come in very handy, and like I said, it's just nice that you can walk off anywhere and go back to the map screen. Anyway, Juking said, let's go to see if we can squeeze the goons for any extra information. Uh, here in Pyrite Town, so I believe the jail was this one. Yes, correct. Hmm, those suspects were arrested. Uh, those suspects we arrested haven't spilled any beans. Not a thing. I reckon they're afraid of payback from their organization. Oh wait, Dazza, was it your PDA number, please? Okay, so we get Shell's number. I'll be in touch with you just as soon as I hear anything. Very nice. Oh, hey, how's it going? Johnson. <laughs> listen, listen. Chief Shells and I, we caught two more suspects. They came back to that creaky old building. We nabbed them on the spot. <laughs> so here we have Folly. Huh, you went and checked out of the lab? <laughs> what could it be? I don't have a clue what's going on at that lab. And here we have the other guy. Uh, truly. They said that there'd be some new prisoners, so they had to split me and Folly up. But you know, the guy's in the cell next door. His voices sound familiar. Let's go have a look. And they are... Reef at... She just sort of appears. Draw distance, that's very bad. Reef and Firma. Ah, it's you. I get away from me. Of course, we can't talk to Firma over there. Or Reef, even. We can talk to Firma. Uh, but here we see on the table a little bit of shiny. What is the shiny? Just a jail key. Just hanging around. So I think we can actually use that to go through here. Um, so if we use the jail key. Yeah, we can open up all of the doors. Uh, it doesn't really do anything though. There's nothing really worth checking around. Uh, but hey, let's see if we... Can I get past, please? Have I trapped myself? Can I push Rui that way? Um, game? <laughs> Help? There we go. Wow, the, whoo -whoo, that's a bit tight in there, isn't it? A bit of a, a, bit of a squeeze. Uh, if we use the jail key on this door here... Now let's try talking to Firma again. We were collared when we tried to sneak back down to the under. It's just another thing that goes with this, that, and everything else you cause. It's all your fault. Apparently so. Uh, you know, elevate going down. It's a key of some sort on her belt. Want to take it? Sure thing. We get the elevator key. All right, so. There we go. Interrogation complete, you would think. Huh? Uh, I wonder if Duking actually has anything to say now that we've um, we've done all that. I actually can't remember. That's the inn. Duking's house is over here. Alright. 
see juking what do you got to say hmm what were those two women up to on the fl uh, ground floor of that beat up building so it's it kind of helps you get to where you're meant to go and i can i kind of i kind of like that but it's just weird because you have to go to that new uh area on the map uh, after defeating Dakim, I'm pretty certain everyone here in Jewel Square powers up a bit more, which is pretty handy. And also, actually I think everyone in the Pyrite Building and Pyrite Cave has already been powered up from Scrub. I don't think they get any more um, any more power. Uh, if you want to heal over there, you have to go beat that Roller Boy again. Uh, now, this is the elevator we're meant to be accessing, and you will probably guess that you have to fight this trainer. Well, actually, if you sort of hug this wall and go around this way... You can completely get around the trainer. But we're not going to do that. We're going to send out Equilibrium. I kind of want to give him a little bit of limelight. And also Vulcan. Vulcan had a really tough time in that last area. Just because of how underleveled it was compared to all of those different ground types and, and whatnot. So let's give Vulcan a little bit of a, a train up. Because Vulcan's kind of close to evolving as well. So that would be pretty nice. So we got a Fampy and a Vibrava, of course two ground type Pokemon where I send out my fire type. Great. Ah, and the high level 30s as well, this could be a problem. Alright, with an Equilibrium fully purified now, let's see what he can do with a triple kick. Triple kick to the Fampy. And I'm not too worried about the Vibrava as long as we can use Dig. I think that's probably the best way of getting, getting around that. Uh, so let's go for a Dig on the Vibrava. Equilibrium is the fastest Pokemon, which is fantastic. So Triple Kick does more and more damage the more times you use it. Which is, or the more times it hits in, in succession, I think. Him on top is the only Pokemon that can learn Triple Kick as well, which is pretty cool. Luckily, we managed to avoid all the attacks there, which is great. Okay, Equilibrium, go for it. Oh, we missed on the first hit. And that's, oh, of course it's got Levitate. Well, that's a big stupid move on my part, wasn't it? Super effective, of course, because we are part... Fire, well, no, we are Fire-type. We're tracked by ta Sand Tomb as well. Here comes a takedown. This could hurt. Ooh. Yeah, we definitely need Vulcan to uh, to level up a bit. Get a bit more power power. So, um, yeah, with being trapped in Sand Tomb, we actually can't escape, which is a bit of a pain. But I think we can still dig on the Fampy, right? So, yeah, with Triple Kick, um, each, each kick is 90% accurate. Um, and if you miss one, then you don't get to do the, the next successive kick. And I've got a feeling that all of the... Hmm, oh, we got hurt by Sand Tomb underneath ground. That, that that's, that's fair. Uh, anyway, let's hope we can take out the Fampy now. More than two, three hits. Very nice. And then Dig should finish Fampy off. Fantastic. I might try and switch Vulcan, but I'm fairly certain Sand Tomb stops me from switching. I know it stops you from running away in a wild battle, but I'm pretty certain it stops you from switching too. Okay, sand attack from Vibrava could be a problem. And we're still trapped by Sand Tomb as well. I'm going to try and switch Vulcan out. Um, I think that's probably the best option. Again, we've only really got Triple Kick we can go with, so moves are very limited early on as well. Let's go... Oh, yeah, Vulcan can't be switched out. I did think that was a thing. Uh, I guess the only thing we can really do is hit with Flame Wheel. It's not going to be very effective at all, but it's the only option we have. Triple Kick isn't going to do too much. Actually, Triple Kick is. Yeah, mess him up! Equilibrium, mess him up! Yeah, Flame Wheel isn't going to do... Wow! I actually did quite a, quite a solid amount of damage. Sand attack on Equilibrium, please. No, not on Equilibrium. On Vulcan. Thank you. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to hit with a rapid spin. It was freed from the sand tomb, fantastic. Just for some guaranteed damage and flame wheel to back it up just in case. Rapid spin. So rapid spin is a very weak move, but it will clear things like spikes and stealth rock from the field, which is kind of handy and competitive, but not very handy in um, normal matches. Ah, this didn't happen. It did, Kai, it did. Alright, so with that all said and done, no matter what, the elevator is off limits. Sure. The door is locked. Let's just use the elevator key. So yeah, the annoying thing is, because we're now technically going to a different town, every time we come back up this elevator, she will want to re-battle you, because it's technically reloading the town. And like I say, everyone in the Pyrite building and Pyrite cave will re-battle you whenever you come out. Also, the music here is epic. I love it.
Anyway, let's see what this girl's got to say to us. Welcome to the under. Oh, wait a second. It's been a long time since anyone has come down here. Has it now? And anyway, if we go check this TV screen over here. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's time for the under time again today. Without further ado, let's bring out that special someone we've all been waiting for. Lady Venus, please. Hi, everyone. It's me, your Venus. Everyone's Venus. That's me. I have something terribly important to share with you today. It's horrid. There are spies right here in the under. Can you imagine? We don't really know all the details, but if you could see anyone suspicious, please let us know. Everyone, please, I'm counting on you. We need to get lots of information for us. Well, you need to get lots of information for us. And that was Lady Venus. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you for watching. Please do tune in again. This is such a cool steampunk grunge area. It's amazing. I love it. No way. Uh, they knew. Uh, they know that we came here already. Tazza, we're going to have to be cautious. Gonna have to be very cautious. Hello, what do you say? The spies are stuck into the under. It's got to be you. Am I right or am I right? Yes, I'm being cautious. Hmm. If you really are spies, you wouldn't admit to it, huh? Uh, that you are, would you? You'll never know. Alright. Hey, how's it going? If it's the Colosseum that you're wanting to go to, you can ride that UFO over there. You need the operator's disc, right? I do, actually. And there's no problem at all, is that? So yeah, this UFO, this won't do anything. You have to, first of all, program where you want it to go using the discs which are compatible and of course we did get one we got the f disc that's use the f disc all systems set for travel in the forward direction board now please all right so let's go up onto the ufo here and this is how you sort of traverse an area of the under i mean that's a very big chasm down there which is pretty nuts if you go over this way you'll see this guy for foo for move for foo fief for faith for fief for narf He needs help. So over here is a shop which most people never bother with. It's the herb shop. You get inexpensive healing items at the cost of friendship. Um because they're bitter, they taste bad, and then your Pokemon don't like you for feeding them to you. Or feeding them to them. Herb medicine works great, but your Pokemon will dislike you for making them take it. It's not like I've tried it, but it must be horribly bitter or something. Well, there you go, that's exactly what I was going to say. Friendship doesn't play a big part in this game anyway, so feel free to use it for extra free cheaps. Free cheaps? <laughs> Cheap heals, if you fancy. Um, so here we have a Colosseum, the Under Colosseum. We can take part in this if you want. Uh, it's a little bit, bit tough at this point, but yeah, if you need to, this is also where you come for free heals. And also, I thoroughly recommend coming here first, when you first enter the Under. Mainly for this thing, a lot of people miss out on this, and I have to admit, I was one of them on my first playthrough. Take this elevator up, and then we are now outside. If you call, uh, if you walk over here, you now have access to the under on your map. So you don't have to go through the pyrite building every time you want to go back to the under. You can just come here. Head down the elevator, and you'll be back in uh, the Under Coliseum, which is very handy. <laughs> Please remember to do this, and it will save you getting lost. All right, let's see what the other guys around here have to say. I haven't been in a Coliseum battle yet, but I'm always interested in the prize they give out. It thrills me even thinking about what new Shadow Pokemon I'd get to see next. How'd you like that? They openly give out Shadow Pokemon in this town. Seems like they do, Rui. Seems like they do. Excuse me, fellow. This talk of un uh, spies loose in the under, is it true? No. Oh, how dull. My market hitter here would have cleaned up the spy problem easily. Now, if we head down these stairs here, this is going to be a little bit important later on. Um, but, hey, there's always people we can talk to, right? So this door doesn't open from this side. Okay, good to know. Good to remember. Huh? Are you looking for an autograph from me, the challenge champ? Wahahaha. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a bit uppity. Alright, let's head back up. We've spoken to all the people that we need to speak to for now. Let's head down here. Venus, what is your situation? Well, a couple of mice appear to be running loose, Nascour, but it's nothing to worry about. We'll catch them right away, pulverize, and then mash them up. <laughs> Fine, the priority is to distribute shadow Pokemon, don't forget. As for you, Ayn, hurry. Complete the shadow Pokemon's development as soon as possible. Your trust will not be misplaced, Master Naskauer. 
Already sufficient Shadow Pokemon battle data has been gathered from our minions. My masterpiece, the most powerful Shadow Pokemon in history, shall soon be ready. Good. I will be waiting for good news. That is all. Now, it is time we return to the lab and put on the finishing touches. Mm-hmm. There's that room we were just in. I wonder how we get back there. Come, back to the lab. Yes, sir. He's just got his hands in his pockets like he doesn't care. He's like, yes, sir. Sure, we'll go this way. Okay, interesting developments. I wonder how we get over there. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Alright, before we finish off today's episode, I believe there is someone that we should probably take a look at. If we go up these stairs here... What's the hold up? Should he be here by now? Hmm, weird. There seems to be nothing broken here. Ah, looks like we've got a little bit of exploring to do around the under. So, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is what we will do next time. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Pokemon Coliseum. Hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you next time when we explore the under. See if we can't find out what Venus and Iron are up to. Thanks for watching. See you all then. Bye-bye.